Hey guys, so it's that time of the week again where I update you on the games that I am currently playing and in hopes that you come back every week and tell me on the games that you've been playing and progress through every week with me as well. So last week was the week where Best Buy had their amazing buy one get one free on select 3DS games. Although if you weren't one of the people that were there like Sunday morning, you had a really hard chance of trying to find the games you wanted. Luckily I went half seas on a friend where he got A Link Between Worlds and I got Kirby Triple Deluxe. And then luckily they restocked for me Saturday where I was able to get Mario Golf and Mario Party Island Tour. So luckily I now have those off of my game list. So I did end up playing Kirby Triple Deluxe. I have made it through so far. I beat the first level. And one thing I noticed is that uh, most of the Sunstones, they seem easy to find, but maybe it's just that way because I played the first just like through the first all the levels the first world if you want to call it that and if you actually go back in a level I found and you collect a keychain and it's even if it's in the same location you got it when you played it before you get a different keychain so there's at least some replayability to get keychains you haven't found yet maybe that's just an assumption but I really like it so far in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, I have that on the Virtual Console for the Wii U. So far, I finally made it through Joke's End and I am on Bowletta's ship. And I was stuck in that area for the longest time because I felt like I had to save after every little enemy I battled because I got defeated so easily. Like maybe it was because I just didn't know the moves, how to counterattack them, or you know, defend myself and whatever, but I finally made it through there and I finally got it to Bowletta's ship and hopefully I can now go and get the bean star back from Bowletta. I did borrow a couple PS3 games. I got Little Big Planet and Grand Theft Auto 5. In Little Big Planet I just played the first level which was what was called The Gardens uh, and I did get to customize my character and from what I'm told I get to customize my character have like more different clothes or abilities like customizable aspects for my character the further I progress so hopefully I will go a little further through that but just like whenever I get a new game I always like just play like the first 10-15 minutes of it and then I'll eventually come back to it in a few months who knows and then uh, for Grand Theft Auto 5 I made it through the first two missions and this wasn't the first time that I played Grand Theft Auto 5 but the first time I played it I made it through the first two missions without a problem because I kind of had I had um, someone helping me, they were sitting next to me helping me through it because, you know, I'm not too informed on the GTA series because that was kind of the really first time I played it. Uh, but the second time that I played it on my own in my room by myself, uh, I failed, I only played the first two missions and I failed each one once before finally beating them. And I, I did better when I had someone talking me through it, which is kind of weird because I really didn't need someone to walk really talk me through it but you know the more you play a game the more you get used to it so we'll see how much further I get into that and last but not least I played some Skyward Sword and Mario Kart 8 so I can get those finished up on my gaming channel because I'm not able to put in as much time as I want to yet into my gaming videos and balance everything out right now but I did put up a l I think I put up like at least four videos four or five videos between Skyward Sword two of them were Mario Kart 8 uh, the first two cups, uh, the 150cc and the retro cups. So I believe the shell and banana, and then I finally left the ancient cistern in Skyward Sword, which I was stuck in there for months when I haven't played it. So I figured, you know, finally time to get out of there. So yeah, go definitely check those out on my gaming channel. And also, I am starting a request Wednesday on my gaming channel, where every Wednesday I'm going to play a game that you request. In the description below, I will have the list of games I currently can record and play for you there every week. Uh, for this week, I'm already going to be doing Mario Kart 64 that will be up tomorrow and then maybe a retro throwback Thursday kind of thing. Uh, I might start that next week, but definitely see. I'll see if I can get a video up this week. So if you want to have some su suggestions down below from virtual console things as well, I'll put those up and yeah. Also comment down below what you've been playing and let me know and just yeah, let's discuss. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!